as a kid you grew up around this camp how did that help you as you eventually took over the camp i grew up as a camper um, i was at the very first uh camp in 83 uh, i believe i was eight or nine years old and i you know, just had very fond memories of the camp in terms of learning basketball playing games getting game experience and just the friends you make and the camaraderie um, of the staff and the campers was just tremendous so i think it's just a special place to be i've been here my whole life and uh, other than COVID year there's never been a summer in my life that i've had a basketball game coach wins a basketball game and then how did your father's influence help you get to where you are today in all your careers at O'Connell with McDonald's All-American Games? You know, obviously, I, you know, some people will say, um, you know, there's a burden by being Morgan Wooten's son. I would say it was a blessing. You know, I was around a guy that obviously understood the game and um, loved working with young people. And he did it through so many different venues. And one of his favorite ways was camp. And I always say that camp's one of my favorite times of the year because respectfully, there's no parents and it's kids having fun, learning how to play. That's what basketball should be about. It should be about the kids' experience. I think that's what camp's about, which makes it just tremendous. In your eyes, what does it take to become an elite basketball player? I think, you know, a good friend of mine uh, said to me the other day, a couple of months ago, that you know everybody wants to be an experienced player, but nobody wants to go through the experience. And so I think one thing camp provides is game experience without getting subbed out. Um, you have played two full quarters every single game, three games a day. And so I think having that game experience is really important. Um, then skill is really important, skill development. And those are the two things we focus on. And I think becoming an elite player doesn't happen overnight. Um, I can think of kids, there's ebbs and flows to development. And I think people make a mistake when they want to be great yesterday. You know, greatness is achieved day by day. And it's uh, over, over time you become great. You're on the McDonald's All-American Selection Committee. What do you look for in players when evaluating them for the All-Star Game? As chairman of the McDonald's All-American Game and chairman of the Selection Committee, um, I, I feel like it's a unique honor to be a McDonald's All-American. Obviously, you're looking at certain things like you know unique skill, great shooter, great ball handler, great great slasher to the basket, great rebounder, great defender, and a guy that's you know a, a potential you know future all-stars. We've had so many McDonald's All-Americans become the Michael Jordans, the LeBrons, uh, you know, the KDs, you know, the James Hardens, all those different different players. So, um, you know, it's obviously the best of the best, the elite of the elite. Um, so you're obviously looking for guys that are very good. And I always say this, there's always a 25th player who's a really good player, but we only select 24 McDonald's All-Americans. What are some of your most memorable camp moments? You know, probably the skits. Um, I remember growing up seeing the skits, meet the coach, and uh, then you know being the guy that was the player, and now being the guy that presents them. Um, it's the right way and the wrong way to meet a college coach. I remember distinctly, uh, my wife and I met at camp, and uh, we were getting get married at the end of the camp season, and I was chasing Mike Jones, who went on to become the coach of DeMath, and now the associate head coach of Virginia Tech. And uh, I dove into a trash can to show a slasher, and he was a tuxedo player. And uh, he said to me in the hallway, your head's bleeding. And I went like this. And um, so the wedding was coming up soon, so my wife was insistent I didn't get stitches. And I had an army wrap around my head. I looked like I was from uh, the Civil War. So, uh, so you know, unique, uh, unique times. All right, thank you.